Hello, today I will show you how to create vertical bezel in Autodesk Revit. First, let's start from a front view and create two reference planes to indicate the diameter of the bezel. Add a couple of dimensions and equalize it. Then add another dimension to indicate the diameter of the vessel. Then let's add a couple of additional reference planes to indicate a level in the vessel, top of the shell of the vessel, and top of the cover. Let's give it also dimensions. And liquid level. And then Shell height Shell height And then Color height Let's add also thickness of the vessel. And indicate default values at 10 millimeters. So let's round it off. Oh. Okay. And now, let's create the shape of the vessel. We will use revolve function. Start from the bottom to the top. Do not forget to click on the locks. And add the thickness of the vessel. Then we add an axis line and this is it. Again, mix it up. We need to reassign it. And reconnect to this. Yes, correct. Now let's create the bottom part of the vessel. It will be like that. Don't forget also to indicate the thickness of the bottom part. And axis line. Okay. Then let's create a sort of diameter for the band on the vessel. Let's assume that it is atmospheric vessel. I will call it simply D to simplify it. Mm, yeah, let's make it a bit more precise. Okay, let's call it like Rand D. Okay, simplify. And now let's create the cover of the bezel. We'll go from here to here, thickness of the 10 millimeters, and then let's ensure that we lock it to the proper surfaces. 
or to the proper to reference frames like here and that great and also do not forget to indicate the thickness and axis light great basically that's it now let's create a liquid why do we need it because in Revit there is a default function that, that is assigned to a category of generic model like a bottom calculation and here how we can use it actually we can use it to randomly define or determine the weight of the vessel including middle so for conceptual design it will be quite handy for the rest of the stages you should have already available vendor, vendor data yeah it works let's change the material to water let's create a new one call it water and change the appearance water okay great click on apply and this is it when it comes to the water or to the medium now let's also add a material To the vessel itself let's go it we will make it from regular steel nothing special we'll call it simply steel apply and also we'll change the appearance to steel Always still. Fair enough. Okay, apply. And also, let's add the thickness, or sorry, insulation to the vessel. should be okay okay and let's add axis line final step will be change the material to insulation for that we will add an additional appearance code insulation and we'll search here also for the insulation Okay, something like that. In graphics, let's change it to transparent. We'll repeat. And also let's change it trans transparent here. Okay. This is ready. And here is our vessel. Yeah, let's also add insulation to the top. Mm, let's 
let's add a couple of angel points. First one, second one. Yeah, I've changed the thickness of the bezel as you see. To 20 millimeters. Plus some thick point insulation. And you will also do a lightly modify. Insulation thickness, insulation level thickness. And let's change scale a bit. Uh, it was it was a bit too big. Okay. And now I think that's it. Let's change the appearance of the insulation. And this is it. Now let's add two nozzles for inlet and outlet. Slot them to our family template, go to the top, yeah as you see I've added additional reference planes and now I will place two nozzles, actually I will start from one and then I will add second one. Let's assign it property, at least to the diameter of the nozzle, nozzle 1, the end, okay, let's also adjust the length of the nozzle, adjust the level of the nozzle and let's create another one in this case we'll just copy it also so we need to sort of fix it and as well as the first one we need to assign the diameter to it that's it the last step will be to add pipe connectors. And assign the diameter to those connectors. To ensure that the pipe will be connected in a decent way. Okay. That's it. Yeah, let's actually let's also add vents to the vessel. Let's go to the front. In here, what I will do, I will add additional reference plane and another one. Here we will just add simple weld connection and we'll create this vent with pipe into the project so in this case it will be so 
simple. Okay, it will be better if we jump to the another section. Yes. It will be simple revolve. Assign it to here. This surface I will assign to here. And this will be equal to the thickness of the vessel. Okay. Let's indicate the X axis line. And here is it. Yeah, I forgot to lock it. Yes, but not for the bottom part. Yeah, and this is it. Are you? No, sorry, not exactly. I need to make it equal and change this one the thickness of the insulation yes something like that great and let's add also connection for vent pipe vent I will go to vent D do not to run into issues. We will change it to the round value <laughs> because the size that, sh that is assigned to the connector should be equal to the size range that you will have in the project. Okay, and now let's load it to the project. The vessel is ready. Here you can see the volume of the medium inside, of course, including the shell. Next time I will show you how you can subtract it. But not for now. For now, let's ignore it. And let's play with it for a bit. Let's change diameter of it. Cutter height, vent diameter, nozzle diameter, and also shell height. Yeah, it works. It works as it should. Great! Thank you for watching, and see you next time!